everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm Lori, and today i'm going to show you how to upload an svg into the my sawgrass design tool and use it as if it were a pre-made template this is going to come in very handy as we enter the christmas season for all of those custom cut mdf christmas ornaments that we all love to buy so Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is click on design. And once our product template selection comes up, we then need to click on open custom canvas. Once the custom canvas area loads, we are going to upload our SVG. Now, when you are requesting an SVG from your suppliers or creating your own, it does need to be a single path SVG. So what does that mean? It means just one layer, or in other words, one continuous line. So let's go ahead and upload an SVG and we'll talk about exactly what I mean. So I'm going to click on Upload SVG and I'm going to grab my SVG and click open. And now it has brought that in. When we're talking about things such as Christmas ornaments, a lot of suppliers will provide you that template and they include the hole that represents the ornament hanger. In this case, we cannot have that representation here because that would make it two lines or two layers. So you need to have that SVG without that ornament hanger hole indicator. You just kind of have to visualize where it would be on your template and make sure you don't put any important details in that area that may get cut off. Now, once you have your SVG in place, you can come over here and you can enter the size bleed that you prefer. I use 0.25, it's the industry standard, but you can use a larger or a smaller bleed area depending on your comfort level. Then once we have our bleed area set, you do need to click start designing and that will bring back all of your action buttons in the My Sawgrass design tool. Now, in order to save, you must Put a design on this area before it will save. It is saving the design, not the template. The template does get saved along with the design. You just cannot save a blank template for repeated use. You would need to upload that SVG each time or do a save as, edit a previously done ornament. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me over on Facebook. I will put links to my business page and my Sawgrass product user group in the description on this video. Everyone have a great day.